Hi guys and welcome to Stylized Creations and this is the first episode of my third person tutorials and in this episode I'm going to do a little bit of movement now that's character movement with root motion and a character controller so I know that um, that combination can can become a little tedious at times a little complicated so I'm just I'm just quickly gonna run through it and yeah we'll see we'll, where we end up but for this episode we're only going to focus on movement so I have provided you guys with the stylized creations uh, it's sort of like a demo pack but it contains uh, one character model and two weapons so as you guys can see we have two weapons and one character model and yes so this is the character model I've named him James and to get this you guys can click on the link below and it will take you through uh, it will take you to uh, this page uh, this is the OneDrive page yes, that I use actually Google Drive page yes, that I use and you can just click uh, click there click up here to download it and once you've downloaded it you can you can just extract it to your desired folder now I normally take just take the, the documents folder it's the quickest folder and then once it's done once you've extracted it it will be this this folder the stylus creations and then you can just drag and drop it into onto your unit project so yes to continue once you have your 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 this package now inside of unity then we can get started so to get to get us started or to get you started actually let's just open up the character model and open up the James character model and let's just make sure that all of his um, configurations are in place and he's configured properly and then we can just drag and drop him onto the scene so yes and now we have our James character onto the scene his transforms are 0, 0, 0 on the position triple zero on the rotation and triple one on the scale so yes let's add a few components onto James so that will be a character controller like that and let's just set it to one let's center it to one on the y-axis let's make the radius 0 0.2 and let's set the height to something like 1.9 excellent and then we can add a floor so let's just right click in the hierarchy and 3d object and let's add a plane let's just fix the position make it zero and then the scale we can make it five on the x-axis and five on the z-axis and then we're good to go again with James everything looks fine and next I want to add is a an animator controller so to add an animator controller let's first create a folder for the animator controller we can call it animations controller double click to open it and let's create a <laughs> an animator controller actually so yes we can call it player anim controller like that double click to open it up and here we have our animator controller so as you can see it's empty first thing that we can do is we can add a few parameters so that will be a float we can make it vertical or maybe float y or so or y axis or so yeah but i'm gonna name mine vertical and add another one and name it horizontal done and now let's add a blend tree so that will be right click create state from new blend tree let's just position it properly and let's set the blend trees let's change the name to running like that double click on it to open it up and click on the blend tree and let's just change the blend type to 2d free from directional and let's um, let's change this one to horizontal yes next let's add two motion fields or maybe even four motion fields let it let's add four motion fields and let me just quickly uh, set the motions in the desired directions on their desired direction so it's going to be one to move forward and minus one to move backwards 
on the y-axis and on the x-axis it's going to be minus one to go left and it's going to be one to go right and we're going to set this one to zero on the y-axis and let's add the motions the animations i mean so it's going to be running forward and running backwards and then running left and running right and let's add two more for running forwards left and running forwards right so running forwards left I think it's gonna be this one yes and running forwards right And let's just set it to, let's set this one for forwards left to minus one on the x axis and one on the y axis, like that. And we can change this one. Let's make it one on the y axis, uh, one on the x axis and one on the y axis as well. And let's add two more. This will be running backwards left. Mm, I think it's this one. <coughs> And let's set it to minus one on both axes. And this one to running backwards right. Running backwards right, like that. And this one will be one on the y axis and minus one. One on the x axis and minus one on the y axis. Pardon me guys. And let's add one more. And this one will stay at zero, zero for the character idle. And we are done with our animator controller. Let's just see if it works properly. It moves forward, forward right, right, backward right, backwards, backwards left, left, and forward left. And in the middle, we are at the idling state. So yes, now that that's working properly, let's go back to the scene view and let's add a script to our character to our character so let's just create a folder for script so let's create folder script and let's open it up double click and let's create a c sharp script so c sharp and let's call it player controller or you can call it anything you want like that and we can open it up in visual studio so now we are inside Visual Studio and the first thing I want to do is I want to add a few variables. So let's start off with the animator variable to get the animator component from the character. So let's call it, it's going to be an animator, let's call it anim. And let's get the character controller as well. So I'm going to name mine char control. And let's get two float variables as well. So it's going to be float vertical and float horizontal like that and let's also get a vector tree variable let's call it root motion and in the start method let's get the components so we're going to start with anim equals get component component vertic ah. <laughs> uh, animator and anim uh, pardon me character contr char control equals get component character controller like that and the brackets in the update method first I want to change this to fixed update and now I'm going to create the the vertical and horizontal input so we do it like this let's say vertical equals input dot get axis and let's say vertical with a capital letter the same with the horizontal one as well so it's going to be horizontal equals input dot get axis and horizontal with a capital letter and let's get the animations uh, 
parameters as well so it's a enum dot set float because we've 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 chosen um float parameters so set float and it's gonna be vertical with the capital letter and vertical so it's gonna be uh, the same thing so let's just open and close code and make horizontal with a capital letter as well horizontal and next thing we want to do because we're going to use the character controller with root motion the next thing that we need is actually the on animator move method so to create an on animator move is actually very, very easy just do this and then you can just select on animator move and it creates the whole method for you so inside of the on animator move i want to say root motion and i'm going to increment it with the animations um, delta position and then the next thing i want to do to get the movement from the character controller or to get the character controller to move with the animations root motion i'm gonna say private void on ground and character controller dot move this is the move method from the character controller and then as a parenthesis that's why it's, there's an error it needs something in the parenthesis i'm going to i'm going to put in the root motion variable and then one down and we'll say root motion equals vector three dot zero like that and still it won't work because now we have to call that on ground method somewhere and the best place to put it is on the fixed update so to get it inside the fixed update so let's just say on ground and there we go we are done so let's go back to unity okay back in unity let's add the player controller script onto james and let's add the animator controller because I, I forgot to, to add it earlier so yeah and let's test it out and as you guys can see he is running around the scene perfectly with um, the animation root motion as his well root motion actually yeah so so there's no need to assign a walk speed or in his case a run speed but yeah I prefer this method of movement and that is it for this video guys so thank you so much for watching guys and make sure to hit the like and subscribe button to stay tuned for more episodes also feel free to ask any questions and I will gladly assist you once again Thanks for watching and stay safe.